Today, I wanted to show you a whole new category of actions in Tasker called Calendar. Inside here, you have these all of these new actions that allow you to do anything and everything with your calendars on your device. There's this old action here that already existed, but I've added these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new actions that allow you to do very um, many, many things with your calendars. The main one is, the main two ones are edit calendar event, which allows you to change and add calendar events with many fields, and cal get calendar events here, which allows you to get all the information about the events on your calendar. We'll go through each and every one of these in this video, so hang tight. First off, let's start by creating a, an event. You could already do this with the old app, uh, with the old uh, action, but this one is much more complete and probably easier to use as well. So in this example, I'm uh, creating an event on my test calendar here, and the starting time will be now. The end time will be now, uh, will be three hours from now, which is set here. And then I set the calendar events ID, which is the output from this action, to this variable called saved event ID. So if I run this task, it creates an event, and the ID is 955. So now a cre uh, an event was created, and as you can see here, it should have the title event from Tasker, description a cool event, and starting now and ending three hours from now. So if I go into the Google Calendar here and I refresh it, sometimes you need one refresh, sometimes two refreshes. So if you do this, you get event from Tasker. It starts now, it ends three hours from now, and has the a cool event description. So cool. Um, now the event was created. Now I can test edit, editing the existing event and setting the time. Let's change it instead of three hours, set it to five hours. And as you can see, I can edit it, edit the event based on the saved event ID that I saved before. So now I can access that same event, change the title to an edit from Tasker and change the time as well. So if I run this, and now go back to my calendar, and I refresh it two times, which is usually what you need to do, you can see that the time has expanded, and the title has changed from the previous one to an edit from Tasker. So now you can edit calendar events. I can also delete it, which is just passing the saved event ID to the delete action. If I run this, go back to my calendar and refresh it, it's gone. Cool. So now let's test to the add reminders uh, action. So with the added calendar reminder action, I can have it add a reminder and here I can say that I want to receive an email 10 minutes prior to the event triggering. But now I've deleted the event, so let's create another one. And then add a reminder 10 minutes prior. So if I run this, it'll edit, edit the reminders and add one, add a new one. And now if I go inside here, you can see that I re will receive an email 10 minutes prior. Cool. I can also add another reminder if I want. And instead of email, I want to re receive an alert on my device. So 20 minutes prior, I want to receive an alert. And if I refresh this two times again, Uh, 
and there you go. You, you even see the alert there. So 20 minutes before, you received an alert, and 10, min 10 minutes before, an email. So these are the reminders. I can also add attendees. And in this example, I'm just adding two random people that I made up. And you can, t you can say what the status is, the relationship, the type. So the status can be one of these. The relationship can be one of these. And the type, one of these. So in this case, I'm adding two attendees. And again, based on the saved event ID that I created before, I can add attendees to that event. Now if I go back into my Google Calendar and refresh two times, I can see that I have two people here. One of them is accepted, the other one is not because that's what I set them to. This one is accepted, and this one is invited. So you can see the difference here, accepted and invited. And then there you go. You can now change who will attend your, your events. And finally, to bring this all together, I have this task here that creates a widget and gets all the information from the calendar, creates a bunch of controls, and then sets it all in a widget like this. This is a widget, uh, this, these are events from yesterday that I created before just to test it out. And here you can see all the dates, all the, all the titles. You can see the calendars they're on, which is here, here, and here. You can even see how many attendees and how many reminders are in each one. So for example, this one has zero att attendees, but has two reminders. And you remember the actions called add calendar event, edit calendar event, uh, sorry, edit calendar via app. You can use that to do this. For example, if you click this, you can add a new event in the default calendar app on your device. So you don't need to do it by a task, or you can do it in another app. And after you do that, it will refresh and see if you change anything. So for example, let's try changing this something pretty cool one to add an attendee and change the title, for example. For example, let's set this to something very, very cool. And then add someone, could be me, for example. Done. And if I save this, this will automatically refresh. And then you can see that the something very cool uh, that something pretty cool was changed to very cool. There's now one attendee, two no, to alerts, and two reminders, sorry. And it was even added to my personal uh, calendar, and the new event even appears here because I was invited to that, to that event. So I received that invite and automatically uh, received this new new row here. So as you can see, there are a lot of new things related to calendars with all of these new actions. And now you can create widgets with your events, with all the data from your calendars. You can create a lot of things, change a lot of things. And finally, Tasker has the full power to control your calendars. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.